Right, so today is the first drive of my latest purchase, a G-Wiz. But this ain't just a first drive video. If you look here, I've got it on charge. And that's because I'm gonna be doing a range test as well. Now this G-Wiz was the cheapest electric car available on the market in the UK currently. I paid 1,500 pounds for it. That was including delivery as well. Can we get it agreed at 1,500 pounds delivered? I mean, yeah, so let's go with that then. Yeah, you wanna do that, yeah? <laughs> now the manufacturer quotes that this should do up to 50 miles on a full charge, but obviously this thing's a few years old. And these early cars have actually got lead acid batteries in them, which is really old technology. Okay. The temperatures today is about five degrees. I don't think that's gonna help us. And I weigh about 105 kilos. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help either. But I think the bottom line is, it's gonna make an interesting video. Let's go see how it gets on, yeah? Right, so it wasn't quite fully charged just yet. So what I've done is I've just le left it a little bit just to get a bit more charge in the battery. Just to give me a bit more hope of getting a few more miles out of a full, full range of, um, full range of, a full charge, full charge cab. That's what I want to use. So in the meantime, what I've been doing is getting all the cameras set up. I've got one here, one there, and then a third one there. And I've just done the first mods on the G-Wiz as well. So we're pretty much ready to roll now. So uh, a full charger on a G-Wiz takes about eight hours to charge, by the way, I thought it's worth putting that out there. And the max power that one of these things produces is 17 brake horsepower, right? Not a lot at all, is it? I think now's the time to hit the road. I'm actually not looking forward to this. Um, oh, there's one thing I need to do before we go. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need this. <laughs> Yeah, because obviously um, I fully intend on breaking down, so um, I'm gonna need to get someone to tow me back when I eventually run out of battery. Now I think we're finally ready to hit the road. Right then, let's get her fired up. <laughs> That's it, we have power, guys. So in order to check this mileage range correctly, I've come up with quite a good idea. Uh, you know the app Run Keeper? This is not an ad, by the way. I just thought this morning, I don't know, a good way of measuring our miles. There it is. If we click start on that. Activity started. Right, let's hit the road. Right, seatbelt on. Oh my God, is this, is this how far this seat goes back? God, it actually is. Actually is, yeah. I've got range of anxiety already. Like, apparently it's, it's a thing. Well, it is a thing. Of course it is a thing. You're constantly thinking, when am I gonna run out? So everything you look at, you think, I don't wanna to touch that. I don't wanna use the heating. I wanna turn that radio off, because that is using power. Ignition is on, uh, and You've got this little control feature thing over here, switch, uh, put it in R for reverse, N is for neutral, E is for, I don't know, economy, F I'm guessing is for full blast, it does have like a boost mode, the uh, handbrake, don't know what that looks like, bloody like a walking stick or something, we are now in reverse, I'm touching the accelerate pedal, we are on the move guys, we are on the move, check that out, steering is like super light, super duper light, uh, right over to E, I guess. Is that probably? We are off, guys. No road tax, no fuel bill, and no noise either, which is a bit weird. Apart from road noise, plenty of that. This car is completely made out of plastic, by the way. I mean, like the body panels are. Uh, Turning circle is proper sharp, right? Go on, you go first, you go first. Go, go. You do not want me in front of you. That's for sure. Feels like it's gonna fall over when you turn it, which is quite strange. Like literally, I'm gonna say fall over. You could roll this thing so easily. I think to begin this journey, we're gonna to attempt to go to McDonald's. Like, I, I kind of thought about doing that and I thought, nah, that's a stupid idea. The reason why that's a stupid idea, guys, is because between here and McDonald's, which isn't far at all, uh, there is a horrible roundabout, like a very busy roundabout. I don't even know if it's safe to go there. Just thought, you know, grab a coffee. I'm gonna be in this car for quite a while now. If we do an average of say 20 miles an hour and we do 20 miles on a full charge, I'll be in this car for an hour. It literally feel every bump in the road. I say every bump, not the horrible bumps. I mean, it feels like it's gonna just topple over every time you hit a bump. Luckily, we don't currently have any, um, oh, the wiper works. We don't have any cars behind us. 
I don't know if you guys are sort of feeling the fear that I'm currently feeling. I am genuinely quite concerned. Oh, this is dodgy. This is definitely dodgy. I can't pull out in front of anything. I've just got to sit here and wait. Have I got anything behind me? Nope. Luckily not. Genuine nerves. Oh, there's a car with a tray plate in the window there. I wonder if that's going to think of. Get out in front of me because you do not want to be stuck behind me. Slowly does it round the roundabout. Oh my God. Five series BM up my ass, mate. Just overtake. <laughs> 25 mile an hour, guys. Feels like I'm going faster than 25. Come on, mate, in your mini. Let's have it then. Let's have it. 30 miles an hour. The uh, range needle, the power needle has already begun going down. Come on, let's get to McDonald's. <laughs> By the way, this is a rear wheel drive car. People are looking at me like I am a, a massive silly billy. I feel like a massive silly billy, believe me. Right, I've got to take it easy on this bend. If this rolls over, that is going to hurt. It's like a motorbike where you sort of lean. I'm keeping the weight over that side, so... This feels so dodgy, man. This feels so dodgy. Oh no, lights gone red. I also feel a little bit embarrassed. Lights are green. That is full throttle. Full throttle, guys. Right, we've defeated the roundabout. We have defeated the roundabout, guys. Oh, there's a Cosmic Grey EP3 Type R there. <laughs> oh, hold on, Cal. Calm down with the horn pressing. Calm down with the horn pressing, Cal. There's a bump. Oh. Indicator, I'll just use it one, one blink on the indicator. Because I'm sat on the right-hand side, obviously, this is a right-hand drive car. Because I'm sat on the right-hand side, uh, it feels like every time I turn left, it's going to fall over in that direction. I've never been so happy to see McDonald's. I'm literally just gonna grab a coffee because I'm gonna be in this car for a little while. So, look at that, look at that. Bump. Oh. Hi, can I take your order, please? Hi, oh, mate, can I just have a flat white, please? Yeah, of course, is that everything? Uh, yeah, that's it, thanks. No worries, mate. Next one, I Cheers, mate. Quick post on my Instagram story. Imagine how silly I feel right now. Yeah, you can only imagine. One thing this car does have, which is amazing, is a little cup holder, yeah? So when I get my flat white shortly, I can, I can stick it in there. Amazing, isn't it? There you go, mate. Don't worry about the penny, yeah? Right. <laughs> Hello, mate. Can I have a sugar as well on a stirrer? Put that in there. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Right, the McDonald's journey has been conquered. Let's now uh, get back on the road. Look at all these idiots in the petrol station, look. <laughs> they don't know how lucky they are. <laughs> this steering wheel is jokes. It's tiny, super light as well. Uh, hold on, the light's gone amber. Quick, round the bend. Slowly count. Everyone, do the sensible thing and pass me, trust me. Right, we are flat on the throttle now. Flat on the throttle, getting done by Mitsubishi Outlander, Ford Fiesta. Voxel Course is about to do me as well. Time, 15 minutes, distance, 1.62 miles, average. 30 miles per hour, should we try the overdrive switch? Go on mate, get past me, go, go, go. I just put it in overdrive and it went slower. Go, go. 35 miles an hour. I think this is the fastest we've been yet, guys. 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Turn left down here. Lean over. Lean. Lean, cow. Ugh. That's it. I'm now back in my safe zone. Near Binka. So the plan for the rest of this video is I'm just going to drive up to the village, up the road, do laps around the village and keep going until you run out of power. All right? Yeah, just leave me to it, guys. I'll see ya in about half hour, yeah? Oh no, we're on a hill. We're on a hill, guys, and I don't think it's gonna make it up the hill. Let's try the power mode. The high power mode is actually helping us get up this hill. 
we was just reducing speed the speed was just reducing it is now increasing slightly we're on 22 miles per hour speed limit is 30 by the way this car is not allowed on the motorway in case you ever wondered that not allowed on the motorway because it can't uh, meet the requirements to be safe on the motorway obviously it can't do 70 mile an hour so we are actually climbing the hill the battery is oh my god the needle or the battery needle is literally going down as we climb this hill i think yeah next time we do a loop we'll find another route because that hill that ain't gonna help us with our mile range oh my god the battery even smells burnt now yeah that's not that smoke by the way that's my breath because it is absolutely freezing something is burning is this all right quick range check now as well so we're coming up to nearly half an hour i suppose we have been driving flat out for half an hour at mcdonald's for 10 minutes but we've done seven and a half miles we've used about a third of the charge so that would make it sort of 7 or 21 we might just about hit 20 miles then guys if it continues like this and uh yeah max speed so far 40 miles an hour So we're just over halfway through the battery now and we've traveled 16.7 miles and we've been going for 53 minutes now. But I'm actually quite impressed with the amount of miles we've done. That's pretty good, isn't it? Right, so we've just hit the one hour mark. Uh, so yeah, I've been sat in this seat for one hour. It's not very comfortable. My back is actually aching. We're now almost in the amber zone on the battery meter. It's getting a bit darker now and we've traveled nearly nearly 20 miles which was the quoted time by the guy that i bought it from i expected as the battery to die the power to drop but i would say it's just as gutless now as it was when it was fully charged so that's quite impressive really isn't it yeah anyway i'll let you lot chill out for a bit and um yeah i'll see you in a bit yeah do you know what i think i've jinxed myself now the power's low, the speed, the performance, I wouldn't say drastically affected, but it's definitely been affected. It's done by Kia. I'll be honest, I've had enough. I want this to be over. Oh, the battery light just flashed at me. With the battery light flashing, basically, I'm guessing that means we need to get back. I'm going to attempt to do the uh, the big straight again, which is brave, and then I'm going to just hover around Binker thereafter, I think. I have passed this tractor so many times, this is jokes. He must be, what is this guy doing in that silly little car? <laughs> Mate, laugh all you like. My, my car's faster than your tractor, look. Just done a tractor. So Binger is just there. I'm thinking if I'm going to break down anywhere, I kind of want to break down on this road. One, because I'm close to Binger, and two, because it's a quiet country lane and it's probably a safe place to, to break down. But there is still a bit of life left in the battery, guys, so I'll, I'll, I will keep going, all right? Right, so now the battery light is fully on, like solid on, power-wise. I feel a bit concerned because I've got to go back on that busy road and well there's enough there should be enough there should be enough to get me down that road and then after that I am going to stay <laughs> on the road that Bingo's on because um, I kind of got a bit brave I think I ventured out a bit too far here but we are pretty much in the red now battery light is on fully it ain't flashing no more it's just solid red and uh, power is well, it's almost completely gone, but we are managing to still get up to 30 mile an hour. That's quite impressive. <laughs> go on, go on, go, go, go. Pull out in front of the transit. Yes, come on, gee whiz. Get me back to Binka. Oh my God, there's a murk up my ass, Mate, calm down. It's getting dark. It's nearly the end of the day. It's rush hour. There's a lot more cars on the road now than there was when I started this adventure got done by a transit connect i'm about to get done by a merc 
30 miles an hour guys we're on a hill now there's the tractor <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn around here because as soon as I go down there, that's where the hills are. And if I turn around here, look at this full lock. Oh my god, I'm doing a I'm doing a double circle. <laughs> I'm probably thinking, what the hell is this guy doing? Let's go! Yeah, I'm gonna do the sensible thing, turn around, head back up here, and yeah, just hover around the binker area, yeah. But you know what? 10 mile an hour, 12. I think we're done. 15, we are on a slight hill, a very slight hill. We're in the red now. If we get back to Binger, I'll be impressed. Binger is about two miles away. Oh, the red, another red light's come on now to say charge. All I care about right now is getting back. Downhill there, 22 miles an hour. I am absolutely freezing. Come on, get me back, man. I think I've been a bit too brave, haven't I? Ah, oh, this is this is horrible. This is horrible. I don't know why I do these things. The things we do for bloody YouTube. Go, go. Come on, car. Get me back to Binka. Do you know we're doing 25 miles an hour? <laughs> This is unbelievable, we're doing over 25 miles an hour now on a dead battery. Come on, there's a little tiny hill here. Got a galaxy up my ass. Drop to 24. Don't let off. I'm gonna have to let off, I'm gonna have to let off. Don't break out. Keep on the throttle, keep the momentum going. We're losing power now. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I think there's still a bit of life left in this. I'm going back out. I'm going back out. Come on, one more mile would just be brilliant, wouldn't it? One more mile. I can't believe it's still going. We're back on the road, guys. 19 miles an hour, 20. This is unbelievable. We're well in the red now. I'm going to spin it around here, though, because I dare go back up to that roundabout. Go, go, go. Go on, get over them bumps. Come on, gee whiz. Is that it? No, there's still more life there. I pushed it far, I pushed it further, and then further again, I'm gonna pull in here, do another U-turn, go back to the safe zone. I'll get the full way round. Come on, keep going, Cal, keep going. Come on, Gee Whiz, give you a little push. There you go. Have that one on me, guys. Have that one on me, yeah? There you go. That's actually making us go faster. <laughs> That's where this big fat 105 kilo body is doing us a favour. 22 mile an hour, I can't believe this. We're doing 22 mile an hour again, guys. <laughs> Surely this thing's gonna die any minute now, surely. I keep thinking that's it, that's it. And then, yeah, we're losing speed now. We are losing speed. This has got to be it now. I've got to let off anyway, because we're on a bend, lean, lean. Keep the speed up, Cal. Lean. Now, even the charge needle, there is nothing left in that charge needle. I'm pulling back in. Do you know what, I'm not gonna pull in. I'm gonna go back up the road. <laughs> Let's do it again. Spin it around it. Go, go, go. Let's go again. This thing just keeps on impressing me. We are here in a G Wiz with a completely flat battery, like according to the gauge anyway. And we are doing 22 miles an hour. This thing is brilliant. It's getting really dark now, we're doing the U-turn again. Make sure there's no cars coming that way. Full throttle, full throttle, come on. Give it a nudge again. This is it, this is the home straight, surely. This is the final 
final run in the G-Wiz now. That's it, we are definitely done with battery life now, but we're still moving. 25 miles an hour. Come on, 10 miles an hour. Come on, come on G-Wiz, get us back. It's still moving. The motor is still working. The lights are still on. We're down to eight miles an hour now. Maybe nine to be being generous. Come on. That is the entrance to Binker right there. Indicator on. Pull in. I'm going in neutral. Letting it roll. Guys, I think that is the end of the battery on the G-Wiz. Come on. Oh, just, get, just come back to life and I'll switch it back on then. No, we've got, we've even got a temperature lot on the dash now. I think, yeah, we, we're gonna call it a day. Right, so we are back to where we started now. Let's stop that there. Activity completed. Workout summary. Total time, one hour, 36 minutes, 25 seconds. Total distance, 30.3 miles. Average pace, three minutes, zero, eight seconds per mile. So in miles per hour, that equates to about 20 miles per hour as an average speed. Obviously we did stop at the beginning of the video in McDonald's, but in a nutshell, we just done over 30 miles on a full charge in a G-Wiz. Now the guy that I bought the car off, he said it should do over 20 miles, which I thought was pretty good. And uh, yeah, 30 miles, I think that's amazing. This car is 15 years old. This is proper old technology. It's a lead, lead acid battery as well. And I'm, I'm honestly quite impressed with it. The drive of it was horrible, but I suppose the purpose of this car is it's a city car and that is exactly what it's good for. It ain't actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it as that. I'm so glad that it's over now. I'm glad to be back, but thank you very much for watching. Before you go, by the way, uh, this Friday we're giving away the red Audi TT on Planet of Dreams, so if you haven't entered for that yet, go ahead and enter. This car is also available to win for free on Planet of Dreams, uh, so if you wanna enter for that as well, feel free, head over there. I'm gonna leave it as that. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're new for a new video every Wednesday and Sunday at six o'clock. If you're on Instagram, give me a follow on Instagram, at Calvin's Car Diary. Also give the Planet of Dreams Instagram as well at planetofdreams.co.uk. All of these links, including the Planet of Dreams website link, will be in the description below. I'm done. See you later. In the next episode of Calvin's Car Diary. To end the year, I've done like a Boxing Day special because Boxing Day does actually land on a Sunday. But instead of uploading this video at six o'clock, I'm going to upload it at midday on Boxing Day, all right? Trust me, this one is special, guys. So don't miss it on Sunday. I'll see you then. <laughs>